Welcome back. All through the month of February, it is Wild Days at SeaWorld in San Antonio with a different show each weekend highlighting some exotic creatures from the animal kingdom. <laughs> and joining us today is Missy Lamar. She's an animal ambassador from SeaWorld to introduce us to a few of the uh, wild creatures. <laughs> Who did you bring with you today? Well, we brought Otis. Otis. Actually, this is Bonsai. His friend oh. Otis is back at SeaWorld. We yeah, do he have looks two like screechos. a Bonsai. He does. He's strong but mighty, a little bit like the Bonsai tree. There you go. Yes, and he's an eastern screech owl. Mm -hmm. He was rescued right here in Texas, actually in the Houston area, and he came to live with us to be one of our animal ambassadors, and he's a great representation of this weekend we're going to have Flying High. One of our partners comes in and is going to do an awesome show on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Okay. So you can come in and see that show all about birds of prey. That's why I love just how he's turning his head and uh, you know he's staring right at the camera for us which yes, is awesome. Yes, he knows that he's pretty good looking. He, yeah, think, he knows so. the camera's on for sure. Owls are amazing. They're built to mostly hunt at night uh -huh. so they have that really great camouflage. If he was in a tree during the day you would never see him especially while he's sleeping mm -hmm. and then they have amazing eyesight, really great hearing and that ability a lot of people think to turn their head all the way around. It's about 270 degrees in either so direction. Almost. Almost. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it would unscrew and fall that, off. That's, that's right. That, now, the kids don't like that. How does he compare size-wise to other owl species. He's one of the smallest that's of all the species. Thought, yeah. Yes, there is one that's much bigger. The Eurasian eagle owl would sit about this high, wow. have really big pumpkin pie eyes. Uh -huh. But you're going to see owls, hawks, falcons, eagles during the show this weekend with Flying High. It's going to be really Very great. Cool. Many birds of prey there. Yes, and we're going to let Cat go ahead and take Otis off. All right, bye Otis. Now, or Bonsai, rather. Bonsai, see, it's because <laughs> it's like children. I keep meaning to get my, my children's names right all the time. That's horrible, yes. So we also have some other really great animal ambassadors, and we just got done with Amazing Animals last weekend. That starred all of our ambassador team here at SeaWorld in San Antonio. Okay. But we're know. also going to start... Oh, you're doing good, Brian. I know. <laughs> Snakes See, are not exactly your out. favorite. It's He's got that tongue out to smell. Yeah. They don't use their nostrils to yeah. smell because a lot of times they have their mouths very full. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's uh, not comforting. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Well, right now you're good because he is totally has been fed and he's just fine. These guys only eat maybe once or twice a month. This is, is a red-tailed right? boa from Columbia. His mm -hmm. name is Bud. Okay. And Bud was a pet surrender. It's one of the ways that our animal ambassadors come to us mm -hmm. is a pet surrender. Sometimes the rescues, which was like Bonsai and Otis are screech owls. And during SeaWorld Live, the very last weekend in February, that is what we're going to talk about, is the amazing rescue and rehabilitation work that SeaWorld does. We have rescued and rehabilitated over 23,000 animals in our entire life as a SeaWorld company. And we continue to do that every single day. Um, just released manatees not too long ago. Mm -hmm. And so with SeaWorld Live, it's going to be hosted by Chuck Crow, one of our fun animal guys at SeaWorld. Okay. Angie Giannis is one of our local animal ambassadors at SeaWorld San Antonio. We'll be a special guest along with Pedro, who is from SeaWorld's Orlando and our national mm. ambassador Julie Scardina. Wow, sounds like everyone will be in town. It will so, be. So this boa is, is a pet. I mean, this is a common one for household pets. He can be, and this is one that we don't really recommend people get as a pet. He's not full grown. Uh -huh. um, he's about seven or eight feet long. Uh -huh. They can be easily 10 to 15 feet long, way wow. much more. And they do continue to grow throughout their lifetime, which can be 20 to 30 years. And so you need to make sure that you're always responsible about having a pet in your Absolutely. home. And just like we really appreciate how much people want to help wildlife. We also want you to be responsible in your home and always make sure that you've done all your research and make sure that you're making the best possible decision for yourself. Certainly. Good. Now, point. these guys of course are pretty popular. Uh-huh. But people it, come but in. at least makes them sound friendly. He does. Yeah. Well, we try. People do get a little frightening. I don't know if it's the no arms and no legs and still being a predator. Yeah. They aren't venomous though, so they're not going to use any kind of venom on you. They're more like huggers, really good constrictors. And, and then Here's the grand finale. Ta-da. This is Penny. We brought Pete and Penny with us. Pe Pete's probably going to walk around. Oh, he's yeah, down Pete, here at our Pete's feet. Pete's wondering uh, where his buddy is. Yes, he can. And Pete and Penny are Mad Atlantic penguins. These guys are from the um, South America, uh -huh. mainly along the Argentine coast. And this is an animal that a lot of people expect to see in cold weather. This is one of the species that doesn't necessarily need it as cold as maybe the King Gen 2 chinstrap penguins right. that we also have at SeaWorld San Antonio. Okay. And these guys are going to be in the show <laughs> for our SeaWorld Live as well. Noise? That is. Oh, he's, he, mm -hmm. can, can he uh, You want to come, come up, up here? here? Yes. Yeah. 
he can come on up as well. There we go. Thank you, Cat. All right. Cat comes wanted, in to help as well. Wanted to be with his pal. So Pete and Penny here are, of course, the stars. People love to come to see Shamu, the nice big black and white mm -hmm. uh, one. And then now we have Pete and Penny. The Magellanic penguins are ones that are rather iconic. Whenever we travel, people tend to ask if we have penguins with us. And, and there's a lot to this is part of the animal vision um, display, is that right? They, uh, this is one of the animals that is really great. You can actually meet during our behind the scenes tour. Oh, you is can that come right? have a penguin interaction program. Oh, very cool. And you can sometimes meet our Magellanic, so it's along with some of the other really amazing species that we have. And people like to really feel them. And yeah. what do you think they so feel on, like? On, on their back, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, very soft. I yes. mean, the, you know. Almost a little bumpy, though, because their feathers are so short that the quill is pretty far down there. But if we make just a little bit like a about a square inch, there can be over 40 feathers in just a square inch. Is that right? Yeah, and you that wouldn't helps them. pet them the opposite way. No, it doesn't work really very well. Yeah. And that helps to keep them warm or cold, whatever they need. If they need to stay warm, they actually place some warm air between mm -hmm. their feathers and their skin, and then to cool off, they fluff out, which is pretty cool. Well, they do great in Central Texas, because we <laughs> never know what we're getting. It's cold one day and warm the next. So true, and they kind of go with the flow. They're a really easygoing penguin species, but all during wild days is going to be great and these guys are kind of out here to also remind us that we have a really great time coming up at SeaWorld. We're going to start our 50th celebration, a sea of surprises, starting at the end of March and you really need to start looking on our website, SeaWorld.com, to see some of the really fun things that we're going to do for the entire year to celebrate 50 years of SeaWorld. That's a big one. <laughs> Missy, Kat, Pete and Penny, thank Yay. you so much for being here today. They're going to get ready for close-ups now. They're uh, cleaning each other up Oh, that's <laughs> sweet. It, Valentine's Day is Friday, so. It is. Cool. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. We'll be right back.